Hey, it's Dr. Darcy, host of Famously Single on eNetwork. Today is your extra credit. Here I am with your extra assignment following episode seven of Famously Single yesterday. So last night in episode seven, Aubrey said something very profound. Let's go to that clip real fast, have a look at that, and then I'm gonna weigh in. I need a lot of things to be satisfied as a woman, and I, I, I think maybe he's nervous about that, and maybe he, I think there's many things that he's not saying. I wish he could just say one or two of them. Okay, so today's topic is how to set up a dynamic with your partner so that your partner feels capable and safe to be honest with you because she made a really important point. She wishes, she suspects that he has, that Polly has a lot of things that he'd like to say to her that he's not saying to her and she'd like to hear some of them. So my question to you is, can you imagine why Polly might not be sharing what he might be feeling with Aubrey? Well, of course you can. It's because Aubrey is a very powerful, intense individual who can be intimidating. So here's what has to happen in a relationship or in any dynamic um, where if you find yourself, and I'm speaking to the Aubreys of the world, I'm speaking to the me's of the world, the people who can come across as a little intimidating, we have to have some self-awareness, those of us who can come across that way. We have to know when we're in front of somebody who we're having that effect on. And when that happens, to compensate, we have to imagine a dial around this strength of being outspoken and forthright and very passionate. We have to dial it down a little bit because we have to present to the person as though we can handle no matter any answer that they're going to give us to whatever it is we want them to share with us. So for example, if I were to ask Aubrey, Aubrey, I want to know how it feels for you to be in this experience with me on Famously Single. I can't come at her this way like, so Aubrey, I need to know how you feel about this experience with me on Famously Single, even though that's how I often talk in my office because I'm impassioned. I have to be mindful of my body language. I want to make sure my arms aren't crossed. I want to make sure that I look open. I want to lower the volume of my voice and I want to deliver my message with a sense of detachment from any outcome. Meaning, no matter what she says to me, I'm gonna be cool, I'm gonna be able to handle that. And it's when we can set up a dynamic like that, that partners who are not as passionate as we are feel more comfortable and are more likely to deliver their honest truth to us. So there you have it. So your extra credit this week those of you who are our big impassioned personalities like Aubrey and me, I want you to practice creating a dial around this strength of yours and try and dial it down. Be mindful of your body language. Open up when you're speaking to somebody who you might be intimidating. Um, make sure that you lower your volume. Make sure that you're not using any profanity. And even though like, so I drop F-bombs left and right, but when I'm having this kind of conversation, I soften. I soften because I want to create safety so the person can speak to me in their honest, speak honestly with me and be forthright. So that's your homework for those of you who are impassioned. That's what I want you to do this week. Try it once a day for the next week. And I will see you next week for our season finale of Famously Single. Bye. I need a lot of things to be satisfied as a woman, and I, I, 